Hello and welcome to All My Art and Soul. Uh, this video is going to be about how I make my own collage papers and it'll be in a part, it'll be in a couple of parts. Um, as you can see, I'm starting with, uh, I believe this is a uh, from an encyclopedia or old dictionary that I love to go searching for in old bookstores. Uh, but you can use anything. Um, magazine papers, they're, they're sturdy and glossy. I don't know about the paint sticking to them, but uh, that'll just have to, you will have to find that out as we explore. So I'm using uh, just an inexpensive craft uh, acrylic paint where on the text, as you can see, I've applied just a thin layer of uh, ochre and Titan buff just to minimize the, the text, even it out. And I'm using a clear plastic sleeve or a divider. I can't tell which one it is, but both either would work. And uh, later in another video, I'll show you what I've learned from another artist um, how you can use these clear sleeves in planning different designs. So I had a little bit of trouble of uh, getting that opening unclogged, as you can see, that's always tricky. And then just repeating this organic shape. And I like, I like it for, I like the combination of, of geometric, but I don't, I don't like hard ed, hard edges. Um, so, and, and of course, remembering which way was up on the paint as I covered my hand in black, but that's okay. Um, part of this process is discovering your preferences as to well, what do I like? What, what do I want to use? What kinds of shapes, colors, size? And this is all in the learning process when you're collaging. Um, I have lately discovered out of this whole bunch of collage papers uh, that I'm running low on, uh, that I've started to make again, uh, ones that I really like. Colors, the size, open shapes, maybe solid shapes. I know that I don't like using um, too much of a geometric shape, but that might change later on. So this is a real uh, thick black acrylic Rio Tech. It's from my, I think it's just the Curry's Art Store brand. It's fine. And um, I'm using this piece of foam, anything that's really cool. I'm just repeating these rectangular shapes. I don't know now, looking at it, if I like these, but I know I've used them in some of my work. And what happens when you use a thick acrylic paint it leaves a really nice thick texture. So when you do apply it to your painting, I work on canvas and wood panel, um, it, it, it blends in with the, with the paint itself, the texture. Ah, okay, so good old paper towel roll. And nice open circles where you've seen I've used, I've used those a lot. And it's all, if you want them random, do you want them in a pattern? Do you want them in a strict row? That all depends, it's all up to you. So it's just really good. The more you explore, the more you discover. Um, I prefer them now, uh, sort of not perfect. I don't like things that are too perfect. And I like the messiness that my hand made before we started. It just gives it a really nice feel. So on a piece of paper, you might want to do two different types of patterns and, and then you just have more choices. It depends how much you want to make. So next up is going to be, uh, this is the purple, folding it over and getting a, a symmetrical pattern. I probably, I believe I rolled those two temperatures of violet uh, with my brayer. And you see, I have a stack of paper ready to go at the side. Above, I've got my, my tools. 
And now I'm just using this fan brush to make a really cool dry brush. Um, just marks a texture. And adjusting the pressure. And this is the best time because you're just making collage papers, right? To just let yourself go, have fun. Um, this is where you can experiment with your actual marks that you like, uh, marks that speak to you. And just trying to fill that up. I really don't want to go zigzag or crisscross. I like just one direction, so I don't know what I'm doing here, but who knows. Okay. All right, so. And gathering different tools, experimenting with the different marks that they make. <laughs> I think we know what tool this is. <laughs> this was a brush from um, some sort of some hair coloring kit. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I thought, wow, this might make a really cool thing, but I don't know. I'm just doing random marks. I'm not really using the. You know, maybe I am. And uh, filling up that page with some interesting marks and then just putting it aside. On to the next one. <laughs> okay, that's that tool. And as you start creating your own collage papers and experiment with your marks, you'll, you'll discover which ones you really like. Oh yes, this is also the palette knife, making that uh, scumbling or that across the surface. That's very interesting. Uh, not that you couldn't do that directly on the painting itself, but when you have a, a piece of collage uh, next to something, you know, it's all in the, in the contrast. Getting pretty dark there. That'll be interesting and it'll create a nice thick ten texture because the paint is, is very thick. Cool. Oh, yes, and then scraping away uh, uh, through the paint is always so interesting. So now it, it, it's apparent that I'm on a roll here. Okay, let's see. Oh, more black. Um, it's really great to have a lot of black and white choice, depending on what you're doing. Yes, and I like the painted stripes. Um, so I think you can get wrapping paper that has black polka dots, different color polka dots, stripes, and that might be nice too. Sort of the contrast of really straight edge to this organic edge. I have to find this piece of paper and, and use it. Or I can just make it right now, <laughs> after this recording. <laughs> so stripes are great because you can use them in many different directions and, and tearing the page, having that, that ragged edge. So this is a thicker piece of uh, cartridge paper. And the tool I'm using right now is, of course, a potter's tool. It's a wooden one. Ah, so the paint's really thick, so just applying it, yes. And I just like simplicity, lines. Um, I haven't discovered anything too fancy that, that I like. Um, and if I do want something like that, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, there's also stenciling. So stenciling is another whole different uh, type of marks that I'll be showing you that in another video. So these, oh, I see, yes. So these rubber tools and Again, I forget the name of them. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get that, I'll put that in the video. 
one is smooth and one has the 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 gouges in it so if you do randomly wave it around you can get some really cool marks I've done that both with blue and black and using the jelly plate printer so yes this is still um, cartridge paper which is uh, it's more white it's thicker and it's a better it's a better quality than just newsprint but though lately I've been using uh, a lot of collage papers that I made from newsprint on the work I'm working on now and I really like how it goes on uh, without any bubbling but you really I use high gloss medium to to put it on and then coat it so that if you go and put more paint over top it doesn't bubble so you've really got to be careful of your collage papers and how if you end up covering them again make sure you you've covered them with a medium it doesn't have to be a thick um, uh, uh, gel medium it can be matte medium or gloss medium. Those are interesting lines. Now, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to use the plain, the, the plain one again and just, oh yes. I've used this a lot when I just need something dark, a little piece so you can tear it. You can use a larger piece of it Yes, very organic. And this is, um, I haven't got my hands yet on um, deli, deli paper. That was the, uh, the paper that you use when you're baking. And it it's pretty waxy, but I still use it and it's so cool because it's so transparent. Once you put it on the surface, you can still see everything underneath. So then just playing with different colors, just scraping and just really seeing what these tools can do and making sure you have, have quite a variety of choices. That's a piece of cartridge paper again. And it's very interesting because I, I don't use a lot of purple, but yet I know in the last couple of videos I've started with purple. I just did that on purpose just to uh, just think out of the box, something different. But I really like the teal here. That uh, really made it interesting. So you could scrape through that paint and even create more of a texture, but I just am moving on to the next thing. You can choose just a small, oh, and right here, so we're coming to the end. This is just finishing up. I do this all the time. Using up the paint on your palette and just using the Brer, and it's a, uh, I think a large half sheet of uh, cartridge paper and this is so cool because it has a very painterly finish and uh, so these are just a few ways that I create collage papers um, experimenting with color uh, pattern shapes and marks is a great way to start finding out what you like and don't like so I decided to cover it with white so if you're liking uh, these videos, don't forget to uh, hit the like button and share, and I'll see you in the next video.